We we'll go to Jim in New York. Oh, now this is not fair. Jim, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. A John Deere mower? Yes, sir. A lawnmower. It uh, worked fine all summer, and all of a sudden it started acting like it didn't have power. When uh, you put the uh, blade in gear, and it just wouldn't have power to. Well, uh, well how, how can I? What's your question? How can well, I help I, you? I've changed the fuel pump and changed the oil, the fuel, fuel filter. Right. But and the fork plug, I just don't. Is it with the uh, cleaning the carburetor have something to do with well, it? Well, let, let me ask you a question. Uh, does it uh, is it limited on RP? I mean, uh, it, it's a regular foot feed, and you can. You, what do you put? Uh, uh, is it belt driven? The blades and all? Yes. Yep, and and so are. so if you have got it in neutral, and, and it was healthy before yep. this happened, you could race the engine up. Yes. Well, oh, can, yeah. The, the engine will. Uh, yes, without any power on it, without the blades running, yes, it does. Have pretty good power, but with but well, you, you don't. It has. You said pretty good power. Is it? Well, does it appear to be it, normal without no, the load? No, it's not normal. Okay, either. okay, good, that. good, good. Then, then, I, I, you know what it could be? What it could be a restricted exhaust. A restricted exhaust could well, be. I never thought of that. Well, I, I'll tell you, cars that have catalytic converters that get restricted sometimes, they they don't see it. It doesn't happen all at one time. And with a lawnmower, I'm thinking uh, that it rusts over time because you use it and it sits up, and you use it and it sits yeah. up, and yeah. and uh, even we've seen dirt daubers that built nest in. Uh, in yeah, that's uh, right. And I'll tell you, it just might be. Now I don't know how you could uh, figure that out if it was an exhaust, except do this. Take it off. Uh, yeah. Well, no. Take it out and run it, and uh, well, the exhaust is going to be hot. But but if the exhaust started to glowing, I mean, I guess you could really run it hard and see how long it would uh, would take, and then see if the exhaust is glowing red. But I don't know that it would do that. Cars would do that if they had the exhaust stopped up. Anyway, that's uh, just my food for thought. Uh, before you okay. go taking the carburetor apart, you might be able uh, temporarily. To remove the exhaust, which shouldn't be a big deal on a lawnmower, yes, yes. And, and see if it has its power restored. If it does, I'm your hero. Well, now the uh, the carburetor has a little solenoid on it that that uh, has sort of a needle valve that goes. Oh well, I I, I, I can't. There's no way I can diagnose that over the air. Oh, I mean, no, that, I mean, okay. So so I mean, besides, you you're you're probably not qualified to, to work on needle valves and carburetors, are you? Uh, no, uh, probably okay, not. but you 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 could be I qualified could. to remove the exhaust, can't yeah, you? Okay, okay. Well, I'll that, do that. Then then I tried to design something for you to do, and then if that doesn't work, then you can go to the other end, which is the intake. We're we're gonna start at the back end first, okay? Okay. All right. Good luck. All right. Where, where you. do you where do you live, Jim? In Marathon, New York. Marathon, New York. Well, thank you for tuning in to Car Clinic, and I loved your question about your John Deere lawnmower. Thank you. I wish you luck.